Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's faves. And today we are talking about Bach's The Art of Fugue, or The Art of Fudge, as some people like to call it, in what is unquestionably my favorite recording of this amazing masterwork. Here it is. It's Evgeny Korolyov on the Tatchet label. He's an amazing Bach pianist, an amazing pianist generally. But this Art of Fugue is really extraordinary because you need to have unbelievable digital dexterity and independence to bring out the contrapuntal lines and make something expressive and beautiful out of them. And he does it. He does it fantastically. Now, for those of you who are wondering, the Art of Fugue is, is feared and respected and as, as Bach's intellectual masterpiece, his towering achievement in, in, in didactic, I mean, a didactic work, it's a teaching work, on the art of counterpoint and how to combine lines into fugue things. And there's a whole bunch of them here. There are, let's see, how many tracks are there? There's nine tracks plus two bonus tracks containing earlier versions of some of the works. And there are, I mean, these things are like, well, you know, they're like, well, they're fugues. And they're all based on the same theme, a rather grim theme, actually, this being Bach, you know, grim was sort of his specialty. But what he does with his theme is extraordinary. He plays it right side up and upside down and backwards and sideways and underwater. And it's expanded and contracted and 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 twisted and turned. And oh, my goodness, it's amazing. The fugues, by the way, are called contrapunctus. And they go up to, let's see, 9, 10, 11. Oh, there are 11 of them here. Um, there would have been, up. Oh, no, there's 12, Contrapunctus in versus 12. That's the upside down version. And there's also the final fugue, which he never completed, except he did complete it. We just don't have the completion. That's the difference. As Tovey pointed out, there was no question that the fugue was complete, at least in Bach's head and possibly in writing as well. Uh, because when you're going to do a three or four part fugue where you're going to combine all the themes at the end, that's the part you do first. You write it backwards. You have to figure out how the final combination is going to go. And then you work up to it. That's, that's how the compositional pro process would have functioned. And so, yes, it was complete. And Tovey's completion, I think, frankly, is the best one. And it used to be available. I don't know if it still is. He, he did it in a version for a string quartet where the piano takes over at the end. It was recorded in like the 1930s or 40s, but really it's a very, very fine completion of the last remaining fugue. Also, in addition to a bunch of fugue things, you get some like canons, contrapuntal canons that show how various ways in which the theme can combine with itself. And it, it really is amazing. Now, some people find this to be rather dry and intellectual. Well, it is. <laughs> That's what I like about it. What I like about it is that it's extremely intellectual. It's, it's fantastically mathematically intellectual. But here's the, here's the kicker. In the hands of a sympathetic interpreter, you can make something wonderfully, wonderfully expressive out of this intellectual dry as dust exercise. You really can. Korolyov does. And that's why it's worth hearing. Now, one of the problems I have with many recordings of the Art of Fugue is just that, that people treat it as a dry intellectual exercise. And most performances in which it's orchestrated in some form or played by some assortment of instruments for the purpose of maximal contrapuntal clarity, they do just that. It's as mechanical as it's possible to be. It's pure machine music in those circumstances most of the time. And so I find that to be rather, rather unpleasant. But when one person has control of the whole thing, and there isn't any question, by the way, that this is keyboard music. It's unquestionably keyboard music. I'm meant to be played by a single performer. And when you can do that, when you have one, one guiding spirit at the helm of the work, then each particular piece can be given its own special character and interpreted accordingly. And that's just what Korolyov does. He's also fabulously well recorded by Tatchett, just amazingly well recorded. And uh, this is another one of those discs that's fabulous in your car. If you're driving along and you want some marvelous music that will 
that will interest you when you need to be interested and will allow you to pay attention to the road <laughs> or other things when you need to pay attention to other things. But it really is an unbelievably magnetic performance. You just can't believe that there's that much, um, you know, just humanity <laughs> and, and expressive intensity in this rather gaunt seeming piece. But yep, it's, it's all in there. It's absolutely in there. And Karolyov is your man. So if you want the art of fugue, give this a shot. It humanizes the work while playing it with such wonderful point and clarity. It's simply a glorious, glorious achievement. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.